Hello, assalamu alaikum. So today we'll be showing you the exact time that it takes to walk from Imar Grand Hotel or Imar Al Manal Hotel or few hotels around here. We have also Al Khalil Hotel to Haram Sharif. So we will start this video now so you will see the exact time it takes to walk average to Al Haram Sharif. We will not walk fast or slow, we will walk at a normal space, at a normal pace, sorry. And we will also show you a few things that we can, that you can help you here during your stay in, in Mecca. So if it's your first time in this channel, welcome to my channel. Next to the hotel you can see you can buy a few things for Umrah, you can buy uh, slippers, you can buy tasbih and everything. You have also a very famous restaurant there where you can buy fried chicken, KFC style fried chicken. And uh, this is exchange, where you can exchange your money, it's just next to those hotels. We'll keep walking at a normal pace. This is Ibrahim Al Khalil Road. And uh, from this road, you can see the clock tower, which is just next to Mecca. We'll keep walking. And here is Al Olayan Golden Hotel. Here you can buy some fruits and bread and everything. Yeah. We'll keep walking. So this uh, road is full of uh, hajis all the time, even 3 o'clock in the morning, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. It's always busy here. It's like the, the, main, road the main road leading to Al-Haram Sharif. We'll keep walking. On this street to the left, here, there are few three dirham, sorry, three real, three real, real store. So you can like, uh, those store where you can find everything for three reals. Here is one of them. Everything three real. We'll keep walking at a normal pace. Actually, it's very close to Haram. It's not that far. This is Al Tajal Iraqi Hotel, also very close to Haram. We'll keep walking. It's uh, around Maghrib time here, so you can see the rush to towards Masjid Al Haram. Here you can cut your hair after after Umrah. Usually it's five to ten dirhams to cut your hair. We'll keep walking. I will make few videos next to show you what you can buy and the prices and everything. But this video I'm keeping it to show you the time it takes to walk to Haram Sharif from these hotels that I mentioned earlier. This is Clock Tower, just in front of us. So you can see people sitting on the road waiting for Al Maghrib prayer. And uh, don't bother to buy your SIM cards at the airport they are cheaper here on the streets like all these places you will find boots with uh, boots of carriers selling sim cards usually i buy the what's the name the mobile one it's usually around 58 dirhams for 30 gigabytes we'll keep walking towards haram so now it's been four minutes since we're walking Here you can buy fruits. Uh, just to let you know, I bought the bananas. One kg, it's around four big bananas for 10 real. We keep walking. You can already see Masjid Al Haram over there. Here are three more. Three-year-old home. Sorry, here are three more three-year-old shops. We keep walking towards Masjid Al Haram. What?
So five minutes and 30 seconds since we, we are walking and we are now really close to, to the masjid, to the mosque. So as you can see, this street is called Ibrahim Al Khalil, very famous here in Mecca. I've always been told that if you're coming to Mecca, stay at this road, stay at this street, because it's very lively, it's very colorful, it's very, it's full of people all the time. A little bit noisy, I have to say, especially if you get rooms close to, to the street. But ours at the hotel was not that close to the street, so we could not hear nothing. On my left here, you can see Jabal Omar food court, which is uh, one of the famous place for shopping and eating. Fast food as well, on the fourth floor. It's one of the places where you can find Al Baik, very famous in Mecca and Saudi. Almost seven minutes since we're walking. I can walk faster than this, this is not like my fastest walking speed but I'm not walking fast just to give you an idea if you're walking on a normal speed on a normal pace how long it's gonna take from the hotels I mentioned to Masjid Al Haram now we are very close to the clock tower Usually, you can go to Masjid Al Haram from that way, but uh, when it's close to prayer time, it's already closed, it's already full of people. Today, they are walking towards this way, the next entrance. So, if you go this way, I imagine it's gonna take around three to four minutes more, but we are going this way, it may take around five minutes from now to get to Masjid. We will keep walking now. You can see how many people walking at the same time towards Masjid Al Haram. It's like thousands of people. On my right here, right now, you can see another way that you can take to go to masjid but it's closed right now it's too close to prayer time so they already closed that way usually from here it should take around two minutes but it's already closed so we have to go the other way around you can see some people trying to jump which is not right but it's okay what to say <laughs> So now I have to walk a little bit slower because of the hundreds of people walking in front of me.
So we are approaching 11 minutes of walking. If we took the closest road, we would have reached Haram already. Now it's Azan time, so we will not speak to respect the Azan. So now even this door is closed because it's already the Salah time and it's full of people already so we gotta go from the door. So here is the entrance of Haram Sharif. So it took us exactly 15 minutes to get to the entrance from these two hotels. Keep in mind that this is like far away entrance. You can get to Haram in less than 10 minutes if you get the closest access. And from here to, to Kaaba Sharif, it's around 
It's around more three to four minutes. Thank you for watching and enjoy.